Um, are you religious? I'm not really religious. I went to a religious high school. Yeah, I'm Christian. Yes, I am. I'm Christian. Yes, I am very religious. Really? Yeah. No, I am not religious. Yeah, I'm Christian. I'm not. There's no name to what I am. Yo, that's a deep question. I think so. Yes, I am. Complicated, but I do know that there's a higher power. I believe in God, I think, sometimes. So I came across an article talking about why religious compatibilities matters in a relationship and I was shocked to find out that 44% of adults said that it is important to have the same belief system. But the study was conducted in the US so I decided to do my own research in South Africa and see what their sentiment looks like. Would you date someone that has opposing beliefs towards um, yourself? Perhaps. I feel like we'd have to like talk about that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't date someone that's not Christian. I feel like there's too many there's too many things that we won't agree on. I don't mind learning about people's religions and I'd like obviously want to partake in stuff that they do, like if they have like a ceremony. And I feel like if you're with someone or if you're in love with someone, you shouldn't be going through so many loopholes to be together. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to put myself through that. Um, are you religious? I'm not really religious. I went to a religious high school. Okay, would you date someone of a different faith? Let's say if someone was uh, Muslim or Christian, would you, would you be open to dating? Yeah, I will support you in your beliefs as long as you don't force me to believe the same thing. Do you think it's sustainable though? Because I think it's very person-centered. There's not going to be much to oppose with me because I don't have strict religious requirements. The person that I'm with would be okay with the fact that I'm not super spiritual. I mean, super religious, you know? Very person-centered. If the person looks at it as like an ego thing, like my beliefs are better than yours, then no, I don't think it would be sustainable. But to be in a relationship is to compromise. To be in a relationship is to support your partner. If people want to make it work, they will. The are you religious? Yes, I am. I'm Christian. No, I am not religious. Would you date someone of a different uh, faith? Some religions are fundamentally the same and if it's incorporated the right way then it can work. If you look at the Quran, if you look at the Bible, there's some things which are similar so as long as you can find common ground and still find love within it then it will work. I don't know, I feel like it just really depends on the person, it depends on the nuance. It's, it's you asking me this is typically almost like asking me what I did outside of my race. That person would have to have the perspective of my struggle as someone who is not part of their race or part of their culture. Are you religious? Yes, I am. Yeah, I would say I am. Okay, and you? Complicated, but I do know that there's a higher power above it me okay. so i'm trying to figure that out okay Please. um the follow-up question to that is would you date someone of a different faith a different religion no why because down the line our religions will kind of clash okay. so we'll have like beliefs we clash in like initially it could be wild but like you know the bible does say you shouldn't be unequally yoked so yeah. shouldn't be what unequally yoked yeah Okay. Your morals, that's something I'm like, I'm willing to draw the line at. Like, if your morals are not aligned with mine, then okay. okay. But like, I think religious beliefs, no. I think I would. Your religion bases your morals, right? But the same, like with that argument, you'd say like all Christians are like, you know, anti-abortion, right? But then there are so many people that are pro-life that also like align with the Christian faith. So that's where I'm at. I don't know, dating somebody that has different beliefs from me, I feel like it's just too complicated for my life. I hear it, I hear it. It's like, I, if I truly like that person, okay, it's either I have to convert into that religion or that person does it it's the same There's a lot thing with like, yeah. you know, when like black people are like, I can't date a white person because imagine having to explain Mughodu. When? Uh, like, what is that? Tribe. Like, like huh? or having to explain How Lobola intestines. to a white person. How intestines. Yeah. Yeah. Having to explain Lobola to a white person, does that make sense? Okay. It's like the, there's just these gaps where, ew, it's so much effort, so yeah. it's like, I. Are you religious? Yeah, I'm Christian. There's no name to what I am, I guess. Yeah, I'm Christian. Okay, cool. Uh, would you guys date someone of uh, a different faith, different religion? If so, why? If not, why? Straight off the cuff, I'd say no. Okay. Just because my faith is such a big part of who I am, I think to have a relationship that close would cause maybe a lot of conflict. But I think God can call you into anything and he can use you in any situation so if I felt like I was being led to be with someone who wasn't my religion then it would be fine because you can still share beautiful connections with people who don't necessarily identify with the same religion but straight off the bat I would prefer someone who shares my faith and you? Um, yeah my boyfriend of two years he's a strong Christian um, and we just work because we both 
like I said, I don't believe in like all these concepts that have been created by man. No offense, guys. <laughs> and I just I see him for who he is behind the thought behind the thought, and he sees me for that too. And we just love each other. It doesn't the other stuff doesn't matter? Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> equally yoked or whatever. Yeah. 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 Equally yoked, iron sharpens iron. Um, I think the best outcome of a relationship for me or for anyone, obviously I believe it for anyone, but I only make choices for myself, is that me and my partner keep Christ at the center of our relationship and that's going to be the most like fruitful for any relationship yeah. that I'm in. Would you guys say that you're dogmatic? No, uh, I'm always very open. Like this is this like, interview we're doing now is most of our breaks, just us like okay. considering life and yeah. kind of feeding and bouncing off each other. So I think I'm very set on my own beliefs, but there's no reason to impose that on other people and I'm always willing to have a conversation. Okay. Uh, do you not feel like a pressure of like, okay, no, days your boyfriend might think like oh no she's gonna come to the light eventually or vice versa like she she he's gonna see is they does is that not existent or no i don't think so a big part of it is because i may not be christian but the morals that he was looking for in someone like waiting for marriage like yeah. all those things i do have just in my own self as a being so i think he's as long as i have those aspects and i'm a kind good person that's all he really wanted Okay. And same for me, I don't see one thing as better than the other, we're equal, so I'm happy. Yeah, because that's interesting because the reason why I ask that is in my head, it's like obviously whatever you believe in or whatever your partner believes in, in a way you think you're inherently right, that's why you choose to believe in that. It's like my worldview is right with the limited knowledge that I have and it's almost natural and organic that you'd want someone that you love to also see what you see because according to his faith if you don't accept jesus christ as your lord and savior you might burn for eternity and he yeah. genuinely believes that so it's like organically he would want you yeah. to see that like oh no you know i'm with this person forever and you know i'm trying to save them because that would be their reality because that's what he believes in so yeah it's interesting that's why i was like do you think there's a subtle feel of come to my side either or direction maybe like inherent like deeply i mean we all have egos and yeah. um we can't control our egotistical thoughts and maybe like deep down we both kind of want the other one to not even to transition but just to we both want to consider each other's different yeah. thoughts and we're very open we have conversations all the time about it like okay yeah <laughs> that's cool